There we go. There we go. All right, y'all boys. What's up? It is Jim and May here, back here with another one. And today, I will be showing y'all how to use Saul Canelo Alvarez. Man, he did get a buff. So this is like even better. He got more traits, updated stats, all that good stuff. If y'all haven't already, like, comment, subscribe, share if you're new. Join the family, join the gang, man. And before we get into it, I want to go over his stats and his traits and everything, right? So the key with Canelo, right? You have to fight a specific way, and that's bullying. You got to bully your opponent. You got to walk him down, right? And I'm going to show it in the fight. You basically stay in his face at all times make him feel pressure make him feel like he's consistently fighting off the back foot do not give him any type of advantages walk him down pick him apart you, you gotta really play like canelo you gotta when you throw make sure make sure them combos is comboing make sure them power shots is power shot if you know you know all right but when you use a Canelo, I think the two main things at middleweight, now that he's buffed at middleweight, I think the two main things with Canelo are going to be his strength, which is going to be his right hand power, which is at a 92. His uppercuts are at a 92 as well. So his strength, his jabs, his hooks, his uppercuts, all those are very, they're rated well. So that's going to be the key, okay? It's going to be his strength and his vitality, aka his health stats. He has 93 health, 95 health generation, uh, 86 health recovery, 93 head health, and 95 body health, along with 88 stem, 89 stem recovery and regeneration. So you got to, so you you really gonna be good as far as like pressure fight and things like that you're really gonna be good unless we were into like a sugar Ray robinson or something but outside of that we're really gonna be good uh just just sitting there stalking essentially just walking people down we don't have to worry about you know just getting flash ko'd out of nowhere because we have low head health we don't gotta worry about none of that okay another thing to pay attention to with canelo alvarez is his accuracy as well he has 95 accuracy so that's pretty good all right but as far as stats i think that's pretty much it everything else is well rounded uh his defense is pretty good as well okay but let's move on to his traits because his traits are very good all right he has body worker that means it increases the the body punch damage by 15 percent he also has bounce back, so that means when you're gassing out, it increases stem regeneration by 20%. So that means when you're completely gassing and your, your bar is blinking, when it rises back up, you're going to get 20% more stem regeneration. So these two perks alone are very good. He also has granite chin, so it reduces the, uh, the chances of getting flash KO'd by 25%, but, but the uh the downside to it is you uh increase the damage you take on your block by five percent and then he has a newly added perk which i think is probably one of the best perks in this game is going to be liver destroyer it increases the damage of a left hook uh thrown to the body by 30 percent so that lead body uppercut or that lead body hook whatever you want to call it when i throw it it's going to be it's going to increase the damage by 30 percent man so canelo is bro i'm telling y'all he is good if you use him the right way canelo alpha for us is good and with the more patches and the more updates we get he's going to be even better because the game is going to be more balanced and it's going to cater to canelo style it's going to cater to his strengths way more all right but anyways man hope i explained that pretty well but i'm gonna explain it way, uh, uh, more as we get into the fight all right so without further ado man let's transition over to the fight so guys here we go we have a roy jones jr which is probably going to be this is really going to showcase how we need to use canelo because a lot of guys at middleweight love using roy because of his speed and combos and footwork and things like that so i'm gonna say this now canelo does not have the the greatest footwork i mean he's not gonna be like on outside dancing right so here we go we got this roy jones right so you can see right now he's pretty defensive he's trying to find an entry point on the outside so what i want to do i just want to touch him up with the jab um, back him up get a reaction you can see every time i throw the jab i'm getting a reaction whether whether it's him moving him throwing back i don't care that's what i want the jab to do i want the jab to give me a reaction hold on y'all somebody was texting me i want the jab to to get me in the reaction right so i don't want to throw too much i just want to throw what he gives me and right now he's just giving me the he's giving me the one two right so right now this is what i want He's standing in the pocket with me. I would take this all day. If he's not on the outside dancing, I would take this all day. I would take this all day over him fighting on the outside. Cause I'm uh, like I'm Canelo. You know what I mean? Now I can land that left hook a little bit better. I don't. Have, I don't have to chase anymore. 
I don't have to chase. I don't have to chase him. He's, he's right here in front of me. What do I need to chase him for? He's standing right here. When he gets to moving, then that's when I know he got him. We got him. That's when I that's when I know, right? See, he's that's what we want. We want to keep throwing these combos. Go into that body. Throw that jab. He keep he's keeping his head on the civil line. So we're gonna throw that jab. Throw that left hook. Just keep that jab out there. One, two. Keep that jab in there. Keep that jab in there. See, that this is what we want. We want him to move. I want Canelo to keep moving. Just keep moving. Yeah, that's what I want. I want I want to be on the move. I don't want to stand in the pocket. I mean, I do, but I'm trying to show people how to use Canelo. You're making it a little bit too easy for me. There we go. Nice little first round right there. I think I won that round. I took a little bit too much damage. I couldn't tell if he was throwing power shots or not. It's kind of hard to tell when you're standing super close to someone if they're throwing power shots or not. But, um... He's, he's really not, he's giving me what I want, which is weird. He's standing in the middle of the ring and he's just, he's, he's, he's throwing. See, that was a power shot right there. He's just throwing. He's giving me what I want. I, I mean, I'll take this all day, you know. We got somebody like this who likes to brawl with Canelo. You've already won the fight. I'm telling you right now, Roy Jones is not out brawling Canelo Alvarez. That's just how it goes. He's not. He's not out brawling Canelo, right? See, that was a power shot right there. See, this guy, he's just throwing a shit ton of power shots with Roy, right? Not the power shot. This is what these. These type of Roy players like to do. They like to stand in the middle of the ring and throw power shots. That's not even with Roy. They, they do that with everyone, pretty much. Yeah, see, look. Another power shot. He's just throwing power shots. Poor Roy. We're just going to keep the jab out there. That's what he's giving us. Throw a little double hook action. Keep missing on that lead body uppercut for some reason. There we go. Uh, there we go. Got him again. There we go. Just keep working on. There we go. This is what we want. That's what we want. That's what we want. A little one, two down the middle. Nothing crazy. Another power. He's throwing power. He's throwing power shots with Roy. He's throwing a lot of them. Look, I have 86% health. We're going into the next round. So I may need to take this round off a little bit just so I can recuperate and cover, recover. But it seems like his game plan is just going to be stand in the middle of Roy and throw power shots. He's not moving dynamically with Roy. He's pretty much giving me what I want, to be honest, which is a, a target standing still. He's throwing power jabs. Yeah, this guy, we got our, he just throwing power shots. This is a good, to, uh, really good tutorial as well. Yeah, this, is, this is a two for one video, how to deal with dudes like this. So I, I see right now I'm taking too much damage with Canelo, right? What I want to do, I want to move in and out now. Because now he's just throwing power shots. I don't want to get hit too much. Like I said, I want to take the round off. See, he's not advancing forward. He's not moving on the outside. You just throwing power shots for Roy. I'm like actually really surprised that he's doing this with Roy. I would expect this with someone like a big power puncher, right? But I mean, I'm not saying Roy is not a big power puncher, but like with Roy, he has the speed, he has the footwork. You know, you, you can really work the outside, and he has the Philly shell, which I think is probably the best guard in boxing. You know what I mean? And and he's not using any of that. He's just throwing power shots with Roy. As you can see right there, he misses. So I mean, if he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna give me this. We're just gonna, we're just gonna sit here and pop shot. I know it's not the ideal Canelo way, but right now he's he's giving me what I want. The 
another big power shot right there. See, look, he's just throwing power shots. And that was a really good, I, I really feel like I'm, I'm winning every round, if I'm being quite honest. I took more damage that round, and I quote unquote took that round off. So let's see if we're winning, and they gave him two rounds. Okay, that's cool. I mean, listen, as long as I win one of the first three, I'm fine. It's a 12 round fight, right? So now we gotta turn it up a little bit. Cause now he's throwing nothing but power shots. It's giving us an opportunity. Right, this is what I want. Now I, I need him to respect me. As far as cause I'm Canelo, right? I need him to respect me. I need him to be moving. I don't like this. I don't like that you're doing this with. That you're doing this with Roy. It's kind of disrespectful to me. There we go. Nice little one, two. Another one, two. Body shot. Uh, there we go. I'm not throwing power shots like that, to be honest. I just want to hit him with. I just want to hit him with combos as I work that body right there. There we go. We working that left hook a lot. One, two down the middle. There we go. That's what I want. Roy does not have the best stem regeneration. See, knowing what your opponent defensively is not good at as well. Knowing strengths and weaknesses, like having game knowledge is, is important too. Going down to the body. See, this is probably my best round right here. See, now then, now he's starting to move a little bit. He's starting to respect a little bit. He's starting to respect a little bit. He's starting to respect. He's starting to respect us a little bit. I had to dump a little bit of stem, but I'm sitting at 76 percent health, y'all. Hey, listen, I gotta, I gotta take the damage because he, he, he's not, he's not giving me any type of respect. He's not giving me any type of respect. He's not giving me anything. So what I'm what I'm doing now, I'm coming in with the jab on the angle. So I'll come in, like step towards that way, right? Uh uh. See now I'm throwing power shots. That was a nice little power shot. Gave him a one two. Give him another one two. Give him another one, so he's trying to pull a counter. So we're just gonna go to the body. He's doing a good job with uh, those power shots. I give him that. See, I want that body. See, now I wanna. I know he's low on health. Oh, he rocked me. I know he's low on health. So what I wanna do now is go for the. I want to go for the, the stem now. We're good. Just a, just a little, just a little flash. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about really. See, now I'm starting to dump stem. Roy does not have the best stem. He does not have the best head out. This is what I want. You want to throw power shots? That's cool. This is what we want to do. You want to throw power shots? This is what we're going to do, right? Like I said, if someone, Roy Jones Jr. is not out brawling Canelo. And it, I mean, you can play this way and try, but he is not out brawling Canelo. If you're going to stand it, listen. With against Canelo, you really have to use footwork. If you're just gonna stand in front of me and say, hey, I am going to stand in front of you and let me tee off, I'm gonna win this 10 times out of 10. See, now he's not, now he, he, he's, he's, now he's moving. See, now he's starting to respect. He's starting, he got knocked down. He's starting to respect the power a little bit. He's like, okay, 
He's starting to respect us a little bit. This is what I want him to do. See, now I got him outside of his comfort zone because it looks like he normally does not play like this. It looks like he just sits there and throws power shots. See, now this is what I want him to do. I want him to do this. I want him to move. See, now I'm gonna start mixing in some. I'm gonna start mixing in power shots now. Yeah, see, now I'm gonna start mixing them up. See, now I'm going for stem. I'm going for the stem now. I'm going for the stem now. See, we got him. We got him hurt. He's hurt. He's hurt now. We're going to go for it. See, now I got him on the move. This is what I want. I'm telling y'all, bro. Bully. Straight bully ball. Now I'm gonna start mixing in. Uh -uh. I'm gonna start mixing in some some power shots, like that power shot to the body I just threw and whiffed on. Power jab right there. Power hook. Gave him a little power hook right there. This is what I want him to move. See now he's starting to respect me. He's starting to respect me, but I think it's too late. I think it's too late now. I've already gotten in the groove with Canelo, so once he started moving. There we go. Another, now, now we're starting to warm up with Canelo a lot more. Now I am taking damage, don't get me wrong. I, the, the way he's playing, I'm gonna have to take damage. But as you can see, look, I'm I've I'm winning. I'm winning. I'm starting to pull away with this fight now. So now, now he's gonna try to start boxing. He's gonna start trying to box for Roy. And it's just too late. It's just too late at this point. It's just too late. Now, now I'm really I'm getting in the groove with Canelo. He's probably gassed because all the power shots he threw. So now I can really I can really start mixing them up now. Yeah, you can see I'm starting to land a lot more cleaner. Giving them that, trying to activate that liver, uh, liver destroyer perk. Some of these body, some of these body perks. And then I have granite chin as well. So that is helping me. Now nah, I'm just teeing off on Roy right now. And I have the stamina to do so. Going to the body. There we go. Oh my goodness. He's just getting, he's, I'm just teeing off on him. I'm just teeing off. Now he's starting to, he's starting to move, but he's not moving a box. He's moving to get out of the way of getting hit. He's not trying to box me on the outside. No, that's not, that's not happening. That this this one too is really working him right now. I don't really care about the power shots anymore. Cause I know he's gas, so I'm just really I'm working my one too. There we go. Another beautiful round. I'm starting to dump more and more stamina as we go on. See, now I have below 50% health. So now I got to slow it down a little bit. I got to slow it down. Because once you get under 50, it gets pretty easy to rock. It gets pretty easy to rock you. And he looks like he's starting to play this like... He's starting to play this like Fight Night Champion a little bit. He's sidestepping and backstepping with power shots. Ain't looking too good for him, man. See, now he's starting to gas. If you want to throw a power shot, we're going to trade power shots. See, now I think he's gassing. Because now, I mean, he was only throwing power shots before, but now he's just really, he's heavy. In, he's heavy on power shots now. He's really heavy on the power shots. So now I can, 
I can work the body a little bit more. I can work the body. I can kind of work the body a little bit more. It's kind of hard when you're going up against that Philly shell. There we go. Okay, he's starting to piece me up a little bit. Let me... Uh-uh. Go into that body. There we go. Throwing these simple yet effective combos. I'm surprised he has not gotten a rock considering Roy's health. Roy Jones does not have the best health. So I'm surprised he has not a rock yet. Try to throw a little power shot. I'm trying to mix it in now. There we go. We got him. There we go. I was wondering, like, why is he not wrong? See, now he's going to start the trade. This is what we want. This is what we want. Now we're about. Now I'm starting to. Now I'm starting to get there. I'm starting to pour it on more and more and more and more. I think I'm my my the right side of my face is starting to swell, but he is so gassed from throwing power shots so early on. He he he's gassed at this point now. He is completely gassed. So this is where Canelo shines at. Because now you can start unloading. I mean, I've been doing so for like the past what three to four rounds. But now you can you can start to unload now. See, I'm trying to really throw that right hook. Cause that seems to be open. I'm getting tagged, but I'm using that granite uh, chin perk to my advantage. I had to be careful though, cause I'm I'm getting I'm getting close to like 20% uh, health. If I'm up big, I, I'll slow it down because I know I'm hurt. See now I'm throwing. I'm just throwing now, cause I really want to knock him out. I'm not gonna lie. That granite champer is really coming in handy though. See, I'm now I'm starting to go into the body. I'm starting to mix in a little bit more power shots. I really haven't been throwing power shots like that. See, now I'm starting to mm -hmm. go into the body. I don't think he can throw power shots anymore. Oh yeah, this dude, hey. he has to be gassed. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. He has to be gas. This is what you want with a Canelo Alvarez. He now that he's completely utterly gassed. This is what my health is extremely low. Listen, I gotta take something to give some balls. And I believe we're gonna get the round scorecards. And this is we're dominating right now. 83 to 87. I think if I win this round alone. I can give up the last two and still win the fight. Um, as long as I don't get knocked down. If I knock him down this round, the fight's over. If I knock him down at any point between these next two rounds, the fight is over, right? So now I can be really airtight with my defense a little bit now. Just going to that body, mixing it up. I'm really trying to mix in these hooks, jabbing them up. Mm, there we go. I'm gonna throw this power jab right here. Ah, I missed on the power jab. He's really here? Okay. Okay, not too bad. Okay. See, now he's looking for a counter. That just tells me he is gassed. See, I can load up on power shots if I want to, and it's gonna hurt. When you get to a certain point in stam, your power shots, they don't look like power shots anymore. You gotta really wait till your stam really fully regens to throw it. And I can just tell you right now, that's what it's looking like for this guy. It's just looking like he wants to load up and throw. There we go, nice little combo. See, all of his shots have been power shots. I'm interested to see something 
because he's probably throwing way more than me and i have been throwing i've been throwing i probably outstruck him but he's probably throwing more power shots than anything there we go there we go hit him with the jab straight real hook lead body uppercut i don't think he's gonna get up from this i don't think he's gonna get up from this is he gonna get up i don't think he's getting up y'all i think that that's it oh he got up at eight okay okay he got up at eight so i think the fight is i'm not gonna lie i think the fight is over the fight is over i'm at 27 percent health but i have enough stem to where it really doesn't matter and i think his stem is pretty low at this point too Now I can start, I'm gonna start really mixing in these these body hooks. Cause I want I want I want that I want that I want that perk to activate. See now he's trying to box now, it ain't working. He if he was doing this from round one, he probably would have had way more success. He's just not having success. He's just trying to power shot me. So I'm gonna just move in and out of range. I'm gonna move in and out. Back in, back out, back in, back in. I'm probably gonna take around 12 off y'all, I'm not gonna lie. Cause imagine, I, I show y'all this damn tutorial, put all in, all this work and I just get fucking rocked and flash KO'd, I don't want that to happen. So I'm gonna win this round right here, and then we're gonna seal a deal in a 12th. By essentially running. There we go. Oh my goodness. How many more is Roy gonna take, man? Oh my goodness, there we go, I'm about to say. Oh my goodness, I'm about to say, how many more is Roy gonna take, man? How many more? That might be it, y'all. That's three knockdowns. He's going if he gets up from this third one, that'd be crazy if he gets up. Yeah, it's GG's. GG's. There we go, boys. There we go. I told y'all. If you're not out brawling Canelo, if anyone's if you are using Canelo and he stand in front of you and say, I want to brawl, you're gonna win 10 times out of 10. I'm telling you. The granite chin perk plus his health stats, you're gonna be fine. Y'all saw that dude. I had 27% health, he didn't even rock me. But that dude was doing nothing but power shots. But he gassed. I stayed on him. I stayed glued to his ass. Pause. I don't know how it was 94, 94. I don't know. But I stayed glued to his ass. I wanna see how many power shots he threw. Oh wow, he threw more. Yeah, he threw more than me. But I I, I was pretty much outlanded him i was on a shit ton of combos um see i have 490 uh jabs thrown 372 hooks i mix it up to the body pretty well 193 to my uh 49 shots to the head but let's see yeah look at this i don't think i damn wow nothing below 50 nothing below 50 percent every round i was pretty accurate for the most part so yeah it looks like that was pretty much it on um, with canelo alvarez y'all so if y'all have not already like comment subscribe share if you're new join the family join the gang that is gonna be it for jma with the how to use canelo if you have any questions down below on how to use canelo i'll be happy to answer them feel free to ask okay uh let me know down below in the comment section who y'all want me to show y'all how to use next peace love and prosperity love y'all do something productive with your day beating your me is not productive See you guys next time. It's been Jamie Made with a how to use video, and I'm out, man.